What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to give you guys a quick update on what's going on with the overall market, which you should be watching for as time progresses. Let me first mention that I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit $500, you are guaranteed 20 free stocks. If you deposit $25,000 or more, you're guaranteed 75 of them. And the offer ends very soon in just about a couple of weeks. Anyways, when it comes to the way the market's moving right now, I, I'm seeing something very interesting. We have this very, very nice looking pendants that's been forming on SPY. We're getting tighter and tighter and tighter. We're currently testing the lower end of the support, so we'll have to see if this holds up or not. And whichever way we go, we'll have a big effect on which way the market ends up breaking. Now, let me just call out that the Jolt's job numbers have come out, and they ended up coming in showing a very, very weak labor market. So job openings were only at about 8.05 million, at least according to reports. That is once again below the consensus in the forecast, showing some weakness in the openings. And then for the Joel's job quiz that just came out, we have 3.5 million. This is above expectations. This actually has been showing more and more quits, showing more contraction in the labor market. The economic optimism report is at uh, 40.5. That is once again below expectations, showing some weakness. So this is all not necessarily the best of data, but it does show that there is contraction. This is what the Fed was kind of like looking for when it comes to bringing inflationary levels down. So the market kind of popped when this data came out, got a nice little push into the 527s on SPY before getting sold off as time went on. That's where the market is kind of moving thus far. Now, one more thing is that at, at 11.30 a.m., we have the 42-day bill auction coming out. It might cause somewhat of a move, and that's pretty much it for data for the rest of the day. There's nothing else too significant coming out. But this is what the trend looks like on SPY. Uh, as you guys can see, SPY has this nice little uh, pennant that's forming right over here, and you can see we're getting tighter and tighter and tighter for a very, very big move that's going to be coming. So we'll be watching to see which way we break and which way we end up going. So if we were to continue, are we going to continue like this and eventually try to break to the upside? If we break out of this resistance up here and we actually break past the high, I would say that's like a confirmation that SPY is going to try to push up to this level. But but it could also be the opposite. So you want to be very, very open-minded to this. If we fail to hold up, if you know we get a negative reaction and we fail to get back above our 200 EMA, which is at 526.2, that's where we have this resistance in the 526s. If we fail here and we start losing the support, we're going to be looking at this low down here at 524. That's where the pre-market low is. I think we could revisit that if we do get a big rejection. So just be careful, guys. The market's very volatile and there is, <laughs> excuse me, there is a risk of us actually dipping even lower. So make sure you're very, very mindful of this. So for now, uh, we're not really breaking out in either direction yet. So we're still kind of stuck in this pennant. We're just waiting to see which way we end up breaking. And we will be very, very mindful that, look, you have to be patient during times like this and see which way the market ends up breaking. But we are going to be forming a big move, in my personal opinion. A big move is likely coming. For NVIDIA, there's a little bit of weakness here. It did kind of push all the way up to about this 1160 area. So a nice pump came to NVIDIA. Now it's back down to 1140. So we're kind of range bound right now. We have 1140 as support. If we lose that, we'll be dipping all the way down towards 1130. If we break this resistance at 1150, we'll be looking at 1160, then eventually higher levels like 1180. But in my personal opinion, I feel like this is just range bound. We went back and forth and back and forth. And we're kind of stuck within this range, in my personal opinion. So I think that NVIDIA is going to likely continue to do so. And that's what I'm seeing, at least the most as the most likely probability. So we're just range bound on NVIDIA. There's a slight decline right if you're after getting this rejection. Uh, it could dip a little bit more and get very close to our 20, or I'm sorry, our 50 EMA right here at 1138. So it could be a little decline coming, but overall, I would say that it's still, for the most part, just range bound, lots of shop on the charts. It's not really the most fun to trade. And the same thing could be said about Tesla. Very, very choppy price action, very range bound down today we have resistance in this 176 zone this is where our emas happen to be and then we also have support all the way down here at 174 uh historically for the last couple of weeks tesla has been just you know back and forth back and forth back and forth and this actually goes back much further back and forth it's been going on like this for weeks guys back and forth price action so it's likely going to continue this trend but just know one thing if we do break past the 200 EMA at 177, I'll be looking for 180 as resistance breaking. That would turn us bullish. And if we end up losing support in this 173 to 174 area, you know, if we lose 173, Tesla is going to be dipping down to 168, most likely for a big drop. So just be careful on Tesla. We're not really making a big move yet. We're just completely range bound. But that is something that's worth noting. So make sure you keep that in the back of your mind. For the QQQ, it's the same thing again as SPY. 
back and forth price action, back and forth, back and forth. And we're just trading sideways, completely sideways, not really doing a whole lot. Our key resistance, resistance is at 453. The support is currently at 451.87 or 50 EMA. And we also have this trend line right here acting as support. So in my opinion, back and forth, back and forth. We're likely going to continue this range until we get a break. So just like SPY, the same thing is going to likely happen. We, we could eventually try to like pop like this, trade sideways, but eventually it's going to break in your direction. And for bullish, you want to see it break past the high right here, 453.5. If we break 453.5, we're going to be pushing all the way up towards the 455s. And then if we're bearish, you want to see it basically lose this support right here, the low at 451. If that does break, get ready for about 450 to be retested for a much lower level. So we'll just watch it just to be safe. I am seeing a little bit of weakness right here, even on SPY and the others. So we'll see if we end up losing our key supports. For Apple, Apple is trading sideways. We have resistance at 195. We have support currently where our 50 EMA is in this 193 area. It's been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Trading sideways, in my personal opinion, is still kind of stuck within this range. There's not really a whole lot going on right here, so we'll just have to give this some time just to see how things go. Be very, very patient, but that's how I see things going, at least moving forward. On top of this, uh, when it comes to the way things are moving, you look at Amazon, it's also trading kind of sideways. We have this 178 area as resistance, and we also have support at 176.5. As you guys can see, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, just sideways price action, nothing else like that. For Coinbase, same thing. We have resistance at 238. But I did say that we had a nice range that was developing right here. If we broke 232, we'd be looking for a push towards 240. We came very close to that target. Uh, now our support is going to be right over here around 234. I'll be watching to see how well we hold this. If we lose this, we're going to be dipping right back down into the range, in my personal opinion. So for now, I, I do see a little bit more strength in the chart, but it's still kind of trading sideways for the most part. Oh, and also Bitcoin. I want to talk about Bitcoin real quick. 70,000 is our resistance. We're actually pushing up towards it. So we got a little dip and now we're bouncing. Watch resistance at 70,000 just to see how we end up holding up. But if we hold above it, we could be pushing all the way up to higher levels. Uh, if we don't, uh, don't forget we have support at 69,200. But this is looking more bullish. It does look like it could, could push for 70,000. If that breaks, I'll be looking at 70,600 for some tight levels. But there is upside potential in my personal opinion. For a few more... Uh, what else do we have? We also have uh, AMC and GameStop. I know a lot of people are interested in these. AMC and GameStop. Okay, so GameStop, we're looking at resistance currently at 28.5. If we do break this, I think we could easily push to 32. And if we lose support, this is where our red line is, the 25.5 area. GameStop's going to dip down to 23. That's kind of like where our range is right now. The chart is showing a little bit of life, but it's not that great. It's just kind of trading sideways between these EMAs. If we lose 25.5, we're bearish. There's going to be a big drop coming. If it breaks 28.5, we could be pushing higher. We're just kind of stuck in the middle, so give it some time. I do see a little bit of weakness because we are in a downtrend on both AMC and GameStop, though. Uh, but we'll wait and see. If we manage to hold above or close above 4.8, AMC could be pushing for the fives again. If we end up losing support, 4.67 is our key support. If we lose that, AMC is going to come down to fill this gap, in my opinion. So I'll be watching to see if that ends up being the case. All right. So that is it for the video, guys. I want to thank you all so much for listening. Please have an absolutely incredible rest of the day. And we'll just have to see how the market kind of develops from here. I'm seeing a little bit of weakness right now, but we will see which ways we end up breaking as we see a lot of sideways price action. All right. So hopefully this video was insightful. Have a great day, guys. Uh, I wish the best for everyone. I'll see you guys in just a couple of hours. Thank you for listening and peace out.